Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Ropeson. Today's video is going to be a long one and it's gonna be a great one. So go, go get yourself a drink. Maybe watch this on your smart television because you're gonna enjoy this journey we're about to take to my old hometown, San Diego. I was there for really one purpose, one main purpose, and that was to celebrate one of our Design Sessions members who won the Design Sessions 2023 giveaway. I'm also gonna show you a house that was flipped in San Diego that was purchased for three million and sold for six million. That's a great story. One of Southern California's most beautiful homes in an absolutely luxurious location. Besides that, I'm gonna to introduce to you, if you haven't met them already, my two sons and their families. The things that we did together were absolutely awesome. So much fun to be with my grandchildren and my sons. You know what else I did while I was in San Diego? I actually visited not one previous homeowner project, but four. We're gonna go back to some of the houses that I did when I lived in San Diego and that you guys have seen on YouTube. Super fun to go back. And I go and visit our editor. Many of you have seen Dorian over the years. Guess what? He's doing a remodel in his house and I'm gonna help him with it. So we're gonna introduce you to that. So much in this video, so let's get going, shall we? Funny thing about this trip, to be honest with you, I almost didn't go. Why? Because just when I got back from my Dallas trip for Christmas 2023, I got COVID. I'm coming up. I'm going but just as fast as COVID came, it left. And I made sure to test myself three negative tests that I took over the last few days. And sure enough, I decided I'm going. All right, I'm headed out of my driveway. Hopefully don't hit my gate. I am on my way to the airport because I'm going to San Diego for two very, very big things that are gonna be going on this week. And I tested negative again, so, and I feel great. So I think that it's all gonna work out and I'm super excited. I almost thought I was gonna have to cancel the trip, but wait until you guys see what we have going on this week in San Diego for Ken Wilbin. Let's do this. I don't know about you, do you guys make friends with the people you sit next to on airplanes? I do. This was Gilbert. Gilbert was my friend. And then we met the people behind us. I mean, we could have gone on a cruise together. It was super fun. By the way, Gilbert's married, nothing weird there. We arrived at the San Diego International Airport to pick up Becky. She just landed. She's gonna be coming down the stairs like she's going to prom or something. Who knows? She probably made a bunch of friends on the airplane too. Or bothered a bunch of people on the airplane. Not sure. Hi! This is Gilbert. Well, <laughs> Uh, I, I will tell you, she did it. <laughs> right, the whole time. My mother always said, I never met a stranger. I'm in San Diego with Maria, and we're staying at her amazing condo downtown. I ended up staying at Maria's condo. Do you know Maria? Well, you're gonna meet Maria tomorrow when we go to her high-end flip home. Meanwhile, I got to stay in her amazing high-rise luxury condo downtown. So we're gonna have dinner. I'm so happy to be here in oh, San Diego yay. and with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> fun. so fun. And it was super sweet that Maria met me there that night and we went out for a night on the town. The next morning, we headed out to Maria's house for a day of filming. Here I am back in San Diego and I'm here for a number of reasons. This video is gonna be about this trip that Shara and I took, but you know what, I came a couple days early because 
My girlfriend, Maria Berry, who's an interior designer here in San Diego, just completed renovating this house. Two seats keep it super tight. Tell me you love me when I wake up. This is a flip project. You know what a flip house is, right? You buy a house cheap or as cheap as you can, and then you put some money into it, and then you sell it, and you sell it for way more than what you put into it, and you're supposed to make a profit. Well, that's exactly what Maria did. This house is so beautiful. It is exactly my taste, and guess what? I'm gonna do an actual entire video on Maria's house because I want you to see it. I know how much you guys have loved my reveal videos over the years, and I'm not doing those big projects anymore, but I can still bring you that luxury home reveal project. Yeah, I was broke, but now they pay up. All right, we just wrapped filming today, and this is Silvana. She is apparently big fan. a big fan of uh, my videos yes. and a really good friend of Maria's. Yes. And so she came by today to watch us film, and we just had the best time. So. Um, this is a really big tub, but we thought maybe three of us in it might be a little bit, you know, rub it in yeah. <laughs> three women in a tub. So, um, at least now we are toasting to a great day of filming yes. and an amazing video that will be coming out on my YouTube channel soon, revealing to you this absolutely extreme, um, extreme makeover uh, slip. Yes. Or slip. Yeah. Spoosh. <laughs> On the shoes of our minds. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to watch the video to get yeah. it. But come back and be sure to see it. And many thanks to Rebecca for being here to film this. My pleasure. For me. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Love you. Wait till you guys see this house. With a nine hour day of filming under our belts, I headed back to the condo and woke up the next morning to the most glorious view of downtown when the sun is rising. Uh, I am in San Diego, as you're gonna see in this video, um, and I'm here to film Maria's place, but I'm actually staying in another one of Maria's houses right now. This is her condo downtown, and the view, the surrounding view of where I'm sitting is honestly spectacular. And I just feel so lucky to be able to stay here. Today, uh, Dorian is back at the house that we came to film. He's getting all the B-roll and then he's gonna pick me up this afternoon. And we are going um, to a new private location for a big surprise. The next day, Dorian spent the entire day capturing B-roll. You know what B-roll is? That's all the pretty shots. You know, I call them the lefty righties or the uppy downies, but they're actually on a slide or they're on a boom or they're on a, what's it called? Crane, it's on a crane. Yeah, fancy stuff. It's what you do when you do high-end production. He spent the entire day doing that. And what did I do? I went out for coffee. Dorian picked me up at about seven o'clock at night and we headed out for Temecula, which is about an hour out of town. Of course, we had to stop and get some groceries because we rented an Airbnb and guess who we were gonna meet in the Airbnb? Shara, my daughter, and Angela, one of our videographers who does a lot of production for us. She lives in Tulsa and the two of them flew out and met the two of us. We are all rushing around here this morning at this Airbnb. Here's Shara and Brody. And we are getting ready to go now because we have a huge surprise for one of our viewers. Uh, you're gonna get to see all of it, so stay tuned, keep watching, because this is gonna be like an Ed McMahon moment. And if you're not as old as me and you don't know who he is. Yeah, who's Ed McMahon? Ed, um. Did he make the Egg McMuffin? <laughs> Up. Dorian already lives here in San Diego, so that was great. And then Angela flew in with us. Yeah. And there's Brody. He's our sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll be very quiet. Yeah, we're hoping for that. All right, 
Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Here's the setup. Yeah. A lot of you may know that Ken Woven did a $25,000 giveaway this last year. For our Design Sessions members. Yes. And if you are a Design Sessions member, all you had to do was every be month. Be a member. That, yeah, be a member. And every month that you were a member, your name went into a drawing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the year in December, the name was pulled out, unbeknownst to us, because we hired an independent company to do it. And the winner happens to live about an hour and a half away from San Diego. How perfect is that? Because so it's a twofer. So we got on an airplane and yes. we flew out here. Now, when you won the money, the $25,000, we also gave away an hour video call consultation. Yeah. So she thinks right now that she's getting to do an hour Zoom call with us to go over talking about our consultation. So in Tulsa, Lily is on her computer setting up this this Zoom, Zoom call. call. And Dorian, our videographer who lives in San Diego, we told the, the winner, hey, can we send our videographer to come over and film you having the Zoom call? We're gonna film it on our end in Tulsa, you film it in your end, and we'll get some pictures of your house. So guess what? She's expecting a Zoom call in about 10 minutes. Yeah, and when, instead of us getting on the computer Zoom, screen, we're gonna be at her door. Ding dong. We gotta walk up our hill though. Well, yes, and we can. I learned from you. Yeah, like, wow. Got your table set and everything. Thank you. Wow. And you didn't Thank even know we were coming. Look at these. I did bars. not know you were coming. It's impossible to find a fire with you. Guess what I heard this morning? What? That you were the person when we did the live Q and A. Yes. That sent this. Yes. And that piece. Was, I, I was remember just telling you about that. Furniture. This guy here, and move him over here. Yeah, you told me to turn them around. Remember, it was vertical. Right. You said turn it sideways. I did that. You said at a shelf. Right. I did that. Good. Move the TV down. I did that. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. That's See, good. I paid attention. Good good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look at uh, your are wife. Are you so proud of your has wife? Done. Yeah, uh, it's um, she's excited about it, and I'm happy for it because it lightened my wallet as well. So. Yeah. Oh, getting ah. the gift, the yeah. twenty-five thousand. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, oh, yeah. hello. Even all the way to the bank. Once I said, I'm still optimistic. Huh? I mean, when you get the like check, I'm a security guard, you know, we'll see who wants to check cash. I don't believe uh, this. So. Uh, yeah, they were. And they cashed it. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. you're like, okay, these girls are for real. I see. I took it another level. Though. I said, well, I'm gonna wait until it actually hit the account. You know, because yeah. I don't know. Right. Get a couple days. But um, yeah, it was it, it was amazing. I'm sorry. Oh. And I'm not one of those people that's excited or this that. I'm more laid back. But yeah, that was. That's wow. awesome. That's awesome. We didn't know what to do. <laughs> well, we're here to tell you. Yeah, we're, we're here to help you out with that. Appliances came yes, first. Yes, I noticed that on the before and after pictures. Yeah. Aren't you glad you did that? I'm so glad I did that. Yes. We're talking about the island. Talking about mm -hmm. you made the island all the same level because now you have a lot more surface you, exactly. can, you can actually exactly. use. Exactly. Because the upper one was about this wide, mm -hmm. and yes. then the bottom one stopped. Right. You know what I mean? Neither so neither of them yeah. are really functional. Yeah. So I'm so that's probably the best thing yeah. ever. So plus it brought it down. It's in the middle of your room. So mm -hmm. having that step up to the 42 inches mm -hmm. really kind of cut your space up even yeah. more. Yeah. You know. Hey, it down just a fuzzle piece. Okay, hi, hey, Hello. Sorry guys, we totally <laughs> forgot about you. Completely forgot about us. She was so excited, no. so surprised. We've heard. We've heard. <laughs> yeah. Did we get you? Yay. You did. You did. <laughs> you totally got me. You said they weren't there yet. And I'm like, oh, okay. Good job. And then my doorbell rings. I'm like, I don't answer the door. I'm not expecting anybody. Don't answer that. <laughs> That's so you know? funny. Look at uh, us. You we're, we're so techy. I'm different. I was like, I hope she doesn't check her ring to see if they're there. <laughs> right? Thank you. That was so awesome. Funny. 
Yeah. Right, well, we'll you guys Goodbye, enjoy Ken Woven. Love you. Goodbye, Ken Woven. Love you. Sweet <laughs> you and me, ready or not, no, it's impossible to fight a fire when you wet is dry. Is your bathroom um, like film appropriate, where we could go look at it? I think so. We replaced the counters. They were tile. And now we're doing quartz. Tile. Mm -hmm. Like four inch tile or two inch tile. It was a little, I don't know, little squares. Yeah. All over. Remember we grow. had that in the kitchen. Yeah. 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 Right. It gets oh grody my. after a while. Okay. And then you did new mm -hmm. backsplash. New backsplash and tied it in a, with the backsplash over like here. An oceanside glass kind of looking tile. So that brings in your grays and mm -hmm. your warms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you. When you did this, mm -hmm. were you keeping in mind, okay, for now I'm keeping these cabinets, so I want to keep that color. Yes. I, I need to represent that because that's what I have to work with. You did redo mm -hmm. your floor, you said. Mm -hmm. We redid the floors. The cabinets at that time were in a little better shape than they are now. Mm -hmm. You know, so we were like, these cabinets are good. We don't yeah, need to right, replace right. them. We're going to keep them. Um, the option was always to paint them. Right. We just right. haven't gotten around to that part right. yet, but we did do the floors. Going to reach for the sky. What you said you wanted to do in here, you were considering you want to redo the mirrors. Yes, I'd like to redo the mirror some way, whether it's a frame or just taking that one down. And then the lighting, the lighting is horrible. So when I go to do my makeup, right. I literally have to take that mirror and turn it sideways to be able to see, yeah, yeah. you know, because it's just so dark. I'm going to try, try, try. Okay, we're for the the best Okay, part. the closet is not Rebecca ready. So uh, yes, we'll just yes, keep it in here. Girl, you got your... You got your stilettos going in opposite direction. This is so Rebecca ready. I'm gonna try. I love it. Beautiful clothes. Look Charles, even your shoes and look you nice over bags. here. What do you need? These help are some with? narrow hallways, aren't they? That yes. was part of what I, when you asked what I wanted to do mm -hmm. next, this is it. So, yeah, these are narrow. Would man. I do a rug? Would I do no. pendant lights? No rug. I'll no tell rug. You why? It's just exacerbating your narrow issue. Okay. Yeah. Keep your flooring as wide as you possibly can. I have a fix for it. Okay. I've done it before, mm -hmm. and it was a it was a hallway similar to this, and it was shocking the difference. Okay. Shocking. What I did in this other house mm -hmm. is I mirrored I just the wall. You would need to take your baseboard off. I love the idea of bringing color into here, mm -hmm. even if it was subtle, and then even more than that, the lights. I think you yeah. could make a huge impact by mm -hmm. adding more can lights and then even having pendant lights, like if you had a wow moment. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Something beautiful, be one or two of them in this long hallway. Yeah. yeah. That, that would, would be really just pretty. really brighten up the space. Yeah. Okay. I hope you do this. Yeah. I do. I hope you like it. I'll man. send you pictures. You send yes, photos. yes. I'm not kidding you, you guys. She will. Game changer. Yeah. Okay, show us the man cave. Yes. Cool. Oh, I think you should show. intro this. Yeah, one, go ahead. Oh, this is, Come this on. This is you, lady. Show this. Is yeah, but, did, but Charles, did she decorate your man cave? No. No. Well, then you go and take us. <laughs> no. Are you there? Is that an option? Are you? Are, does he let? Will he let you or no? He okay. doesn't have a choice. So, welcome to the man cave. The music room, the bar, the I love me. Dorian, room. do you see I the love electric me. guitar? The, it's all about me room. Football. And what are the uh, trophies of? Charles. From what? From what? Charles, what did College? you do to win this trophy? Pray. <laughs> 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 are you really I'm holy? I'm married to her. I pray a lot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, when we, you know, we had an independent company that chose the winner. Mm -hmm. That way everything is very legal and, you know, we're not related, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and they gave us your name and they said you lived in Lake Elsinore. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so close to San Diego. Yeah. We can make a trip out of it and go out and surprise you. And Shara and I were both all in on that idea. So that's been our plan all along. What Just a great so idea, you know. oh my gosh. <laughs> so it was kind of, I felt like, you know, the guy that comes to the door and, you know, you open the door and you're like, surprise, yeah. right? And you had a very surprised look Did on I your face. really? Because I'm not that type. I don't normally get surprised. I always know what's going on because I'm. 
control freak. And well, clearly, you should see her house. Now, in this is gonna go in my video, right? And also you should watch Shara's video because she's got a, a, a completely different perspective. So go watch hers also. Okay, so let's get down to what this was all about. You okay. were a member of the design sessions. Yes and or are a member mm -hmm. and every month that your name that you remember your name was put into this drawing mm -hmm. your name was selected out of the hat in december then you were contacted mm -hmm. that you had won twenty five thousand dollars yes which you did not believe did not believe it didn't believe it she's like this is scam or not scam spam mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. So there, were, there was a lot of verifying that we had to do behind the scenes <laughs> to let her know, no, you really did win this money. Yeah. And, um, and what she's done is she has taken the principles that she learned in the design sessions. Mm -hmm. And what have you done with them? I have redone the kitchen. I've redone the bathroom. And I have so many more projects. There are a lot of things about Susan's house that it just like gave me so much joy because Many of you know, or if, even if you haven't joined, you've heard us talk about the design sessions. But for me, it was almost, it almost brought me to tears, not only to meet her and her husband who was adorable, but to see how Susan had implemented so many of the design principles that she's learned as being a member of the design sessions. And just so you know, we are actually thinking that we're gonna do another giveaway this year and probably more than one. Um, it may not be the same amount of money. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread it over several winners, two or three winners in a year instead of just one. And whoever it is that wins may also have an opportunity. Well, actually, here's the deal. We may have the opportunity to meet you. I'm so <laughs> delighted to meet you. Nothing makes oh, me happier than too. to meet the people who follow us and, uh, and we're glad that we're making a difference one home at a time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This has been awesome. awesome. Really. Thank you. <laughs> Dorian and I headed out right after lunch and we went to one of the homes that I finished in the last year I was in San Diego. I went to my client's home and stayed in their amazing guest house. <laughs> I just arrived at my little Villa Casitas where I stay here in San Diego. Former clients of mine. Do you guys remember this project? Yeah, it was the actual last small project I did before I left for Tulsa. And I, I gotta say, I just to this day think that their pool is the most amazing thing. And of course then it doesn't hurt to have that amazing uh, personal putting green over there too. So I stay in the guest house here and it is, I think it is like the perfect uh, like bungalow for a guest anytime, anywhere to stay. And I just want to show it to you. I don't think I've ever shown it to you before. I stay here a lot, but I'm going to take you in there now and show you this amazing guest house. This is the guest house. Queen size bed with extra cubbies. There are shades on these windows. She has art above the bed. Very comfortable bed, by the way. You look this direction, and these are all empty for guests. She gives the Wi-Fi information. And then she's got all these really nice fresh plants. Oh, and this is Mr. Uh, Roomba, which always keeps me entertained. But I love this. I honestly feel like I could live in a space this small because it's just so compacted with everything you need. So she has this kitchen area here with a microwave and a sink. And then she has a wine or beverage fridge that also has wine in it. She provides coffee, uh, mugs, glasses for wine, whatnot. Look, you have your choice. How often do you go somewhere and there's, you're like Keurig. Okay, I'm a Keurig person. Well, I happen to be an espresso person. So I have my choice of any of those that I want. What's really nice is there's a full washer and dryer in here. You walk over here, she's got a really nice closet with extra pillows and blankets. But look, then she has a very nice guest bathroom with a medicine cabinet, and she always stocks it with everything that you could possibly need or want. Look at this beautiful shower with flow. Ah! <laughs> so look, you've got a bathroom, a closet, laundry room, kitchen, bedroom, and a living room. Uh, this is, it's got a gas fireplace. It's more for looks, but it does get warm. 
and then a very large screen television, an incredible view of the sunset if there happens to be one, and of course that golf course. But then this is another sofa here, and it's actually a pull-out bed sofa with extra, um, you know, shades that you can have your privacy. So, so what do you think? Do you think that you could stay in a place like this? You could be a guest in Jen's guest house. I know that they always offer this to me when I come to San Diego and I'm just really honored, but I have learned that I can learn to live in a much smaller space and be very happy uh, because it basically takes care of all my needs. I think I'd like to get the floor plans for this and build my own casitas in my new house. Like I said, this was a very action-packed trip. So the next thing on my agenda was, I'm not gonna be that close to San Diego or even in San Diego and not spend some time with my adult sons and their families. Mara, yeah? who are you with? I'm with Mimi. Yeah, where are we? We're in At the beach. beach. Woo on it. It just is like, I think it always amazes me how kids can turn just something free, like the ocean, into an amusement park. While we were at the beach, and we just happened to be at the right beach, I walked by and I got to visit the Beach House Project. You remember that project? happens at this point in San Diego the um, the tide was really high and not only that the um, the sand had been eroded away from the walls it's just so nostalgic for me it's really special knowing I had spent over a year at that beach in that location sitting there on those stairs having lunch looking out at the ocean over a year I did that while I was working on that project and I just know what's inside behind those doors. And it was just special to, to be able to revisit it. Along those lines, I said, Jimmy, you know, not too far from here is the Cliff House Project. I don't know if the clients are in town, but can we just drive by? I wanna see what it looks like now. I guess this trip is kind of a little bit about old home week or going home. How many of you remember the Cliff House Project? Well, while I'm down here at the beach with my kids, I said, guys, let's drive by the Cliff House. I wanna see how the landscaping is doing, right? We stopped at our favorite ice cream place and my daughter-in-law, she had this like money-saving way of doing this. Instead of getting this like, I don't know, $16 ice cream cone, you get ice cream in individual scoops and the whole thing is like $24 rather than, you know, $64. That's a good tip. You should write that down. I finished dinner with Jimmy and his family and at seven o'clock an Uber picked me up and I was off to spend the night in my new location. I told you I was living out of a suitcase. Hello, Mommy Dearest. Hello. Yes, it's my son, Scott. Do we seriously have to walk up that driveway? I thought you were going to bring the car down. Uh, this is delightful. And here we are. Guys, does this look familiar? Yep. I'm back at the La Jolla house. I'm staying here tonight. How fun is that? Anybody remember this project? Well, let's just take a quick look back. On the fourth floor, there is an upper 
terrace that overlooks all of La Jolla. Oh, that looks scary. Squid ink pasta. Squid ink pasta. And sweet Rick, I had just had dinner at Jimmy's house, and Rick made and prepared a fantastic gourmet meal. So I ate again. When I woke up the next morning, I was able to look right on out at the La Jolla coastline from the master bed. By the way, did I tell you that the homeowner was not there? He's on vacation. Definitely should have probably brought that up. Yeah, I was, it was a very large bed all by myself. Anyway, amazing first impression when you wake up in the morning. One of the most precious moments to me on this trip was I actually got to see Irma again. Some of you may remember Irma and Janet. They were my housekeepers, and not just my housekeepers, they were my friends. They were at Shara's wedding. I watched them have babies. I didn't watch them have babies. I, I knew they had their babies, and I watched their kids grow up, and they later became friends, their kids even, and helpers, even in my business. They were so special and valuable to me, and just to get to see Irma again, was pretty tear-jerking because these are women who, you know, I really came to love so much and I have missed. I got me a Brenda now and I love her too, but boy, there's nothing like an Irma and a Janet. So to you guys, if you're watching, I miss you. I'm down to like the last day and a half of my trip and I decided I really wanted to go and see Dorian. Dorian, my editor. Do you guys remember Dorian? Right, remember we did his dining room? Well, he lives in San Diego. How could I be there without saying hello to him? But more importantly, Dorian has a renovation project that he's working on this year and he needed a little bit of guidance and help from his boss and friend, Rebecca. <laughs> Scott had to work, I didn't have a car, I had to get from La Jolla to Point Loma, and Mr. La Jolla was so sweet. You know what he said? Rebecca, why don't you drive the Boxster? I was nervous the whole time I was driving it, to be honest. But I tried to look like, oh yeah, no big deal, I do this all the time. By the time I got to Dorian's house, I had the top down, the radio up. I felt so comfortable that I actually sat in the driveway for a while and hummed along with Roberta Flack. Was that here before? No, there was an orange hutch there before. And I think I told you to get rid of it. I did. He's got some quirky taste. I can say that because I always say stuff like that to him and he knows I'm just kidding. Yeah, we almost broke up once. Uh-huh. When I say break up, you know, break up professionally. Because when I did his dining room, uh, he and I got into a fight over a dimmer switch. I mean, if you're gonna fight about something, pick something more important than a dimmer switch. Is this one of those ones that you have to like pump it to make it work? If you're gonna buy something like this. Oh. I'm already starting to win her over. Change your mind yet? Maybe, a little. Do they make these in a player version, like my piano? Here's the original home, here. Yeah. And then with these steps in the garage, so the addition is this one with the slanted lines. And what is the actual addition going to be? A bathroom. That looks like a gross shower. No. You need a designer. And the toilet. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm glad you added one of those. Because that is such a pain to go all the way around here. To... Well, so a lot of times it's easier to just go right out the window. Right? <laughs> That's, okay. That's exactly what I would expect from you. 
I told him he doesn't need to pay me. But what I would like is a ride on his motorcycle. Is that room for two? I mean, Daria, my butt's kind of big. It will be. Oh, it's... Oh, nice. Very last night in San Diego, I had a night out on the town with my guys, Scott, my son, and Rick, his partner, and we went to Frozen. I've never seen it before live. I've seen the movie, but I don't have young kids, so I probably haven't seen it as many as you guys, many times as you guys have, perhaps. Anyway, my favorite song is Let It Go. I can tell you how many times I can sing the phrase, let it go. I mean, I fit that in all day, every day for two weeks after I saw that Broadway production. Rick had decided to treat his two nephews and his niece to a night at the Broadway production of Frozen. So I got to tag along and you know what? It was glorious. I had to just let it go. Okay, I'll stop there. I actually get better as I go, but I'll stop there. Did we have the best time tonight oh at Frozen? Yes. Oh, what do we say to Uncle Rick and Uncle Scott? Thank you. Oh. I had to pack up again. I think I packed and unpacked five times in six days, right? That's a lot. Scott and I got into the car and we headed out of La Jolla for the airport. Why? Because I needed to get back to Tulsa and get this new year 2023 off to a roaring start because I pretty much missed the month of January. You know how that goes? Like I was gone, I should let it go. I'm sorry, can't trust me on that. There was so much about this trip that was so meaningful and special to me, not the least of which was meeting Susan and Charles, the winners of the $25,000 giveaway. Leave me a comment below and let me know, do you think that we should continue to do this type or something similar of giveaway? You know, it's only available to people that are members of the design sessions. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below because if you're not a member, Dude, what are you waiting for? It is the best value for your money. And not only that, you have an opportunity to perhaps win something amazing. And not only that, I'd really like to meet you. Wouldn't that be fun? You know why? Because this is the year of you. And let me tell you something. As far as the contest or giveaway is concerned, it could be you. All right, you guys, I am going to take off now because I can't, oh, you know why? Hello, do you see this? Cameraman, pan over. Cameraman, come look here. See this? Can you get close in? You know what that is? That is destruction from Christmas. Another video that's coming to you real soon is me taking my Christmas decorations down. And you know what? I don't have them down yet. So I just started this last week and we're filming it so that we can bring it to you here, like, you know, the tips and the tricks on how I take Christmas down, but more importantly, how I organize to ensure that next year when I'm decorating for Christmas, it's a more flawless and enjoyable experience. But look what happened when I looked and I took my garland down. <sighs> There's a little flub and there's like, yeah, so. Lots to do here in Tulsa. How about you? Leave me a comment below. Have you taken your Christmas decorations down yet? If you say the day after Christmas, I'm gonna be very jealous. But I hope you have. And I hope your life is getting back to normal. And guess what? I wanna help you make your home beautiful. Right now, I gotta just fix mine and then the beauty part's coming. I'm just sure. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.